What was the most OMG moment from yesterday? Le'Veon Bell not showing up, giving up that $850,000 paycheck. Aaron Rodgers returns to lead the Packer comeback. Saints giving up 48 points at home to Fitz Magic. Browns not losing. Well, well, being the great football Nostradamus that I am, yes. I said on my Tomahawk podcast just a few days ago that the Saints were going to win the Super Bowl and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were going to be the worst team in the NFL. So <sighs> how'd that I would look, have to say how'd that, that look was for the most OMG moment for me. That was unbelievable. I mean, Fitz, Fitzpatrick is just uh, – it. He's he's got like it, it's only talking about boom or bust. I mean, it's unbelievable. There's not a window he doesn't think he could fit it in, but he also showed what how this offense can work, right, Joe? Well, I think I, it's interesting. You watch a guy like Ryan Fitzpatrick, and people leave him for dead, and then all of a, all of a sudden he comes back and he throws for 500 yards and leads a, a team that nobody really has a lot of respect for to victory. It's uh, pretty amazing. He's pretty much just bought himself three more years in the NFL, no matter how many picks he throws from here on out. That's, <laughs> that's true. That's true. So did you miss it yesterday? Did you miss the game yesterday, Joe? You know, it's funny that that's the question everybody asked me <laughs> this off season. And, um, going into this game, I hadn't had that moment where I was like, wow, I really miss it. Even watching hard knocks and seeing all my brothers out there for the Browns, I didn't really miss it. But then you turn it on an opening day. It just got something special. When you watch those players running out of that tunnel and that emotion is real for the first time. You see the fans there and the pageantry and the pomp and circumstance that's around opening day. And then you just think back to my 11 years in the NFL and, and the emotion that came over your body on opening day. It's just unlike anything else. And, and it was at that moment where I really felt like I missed it, but there was still that, that feeling in the back of my head that my body just is not willing and, and could not take any more pounding. So I did feel comfortable, even though I really missed it. Mm. I felt comfortable that I made the right decision when I re decided to retire. So you're comfortable today, basically, is what you're saying. Today's what I'm saying day. is I got out of bed and I didn't need a walker. And so I felt mm. really good about myself that I didn't play in a game yesterday. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.